guys ken here your thrifty apprentice and today's video we are going to be taking a look at stetler 12 count tinted watercolor pencils um so a little backstory i originally went in search of an alternative to Derwent ink tints pencils now um i saw a few videos on those pencils and i really liked the way that they performed and the way they looked but at the time did not want to spend um, the amount of money they were priced at so i decided to search around amazon in search of an alternative to that brand and came across stetler 12 count 10 watercolor pencils now i've used other stetler products before and um i was pretty pleased with the way that they performed stetler would carry about the same reputation in europe as crayola does here in the united states although the product itself probably performs more along the level of praying, which is a little bit better uh, product, in my opinion, um, than Crayola is. And so Stetler will probably match up to that. Now, again, everything that you hear in this review is simply my opinion based on my observations from using um, the product, and I am in no way paid or sponsored for these videos, but I do like to just kind of let you guys know what I find in hopes that maybe it'll help you on your art journey. So a little about the company, Stetler itself was founded in 1835 by, and I believe I'm pronouncing this right when I say Johann Sebastian Stetler. Um, Stetler itself is one of Germany's oldest industrial companies. Um, the company is known for like mechanical pencils, wooden crayons, uh, professional pens, modeling clay, and a lot of those products have won like innovation and design awards. So they have a pretty good standing behind them. Um, the group itself is located in like 26 different countries. And if I remember reading correctly, they employ uh, a little over 2,300 people, maybe. So pretty impressive. Um, they have a long legacy of creating, you know, products that are used for drawing and art. So if we take a look at the packaging here, the box itself is pretty generic, straightforward box that came with a little flap that you lift that's glued down and a little perforated area for you to tuck that flap into in order to close the box back up. So, you know, standard cardboarding with their printing and logoing in colored uh, 12 tinted watercolor pencils and watercolor is spelled in the European way because this is a German company. Um, then there is some verbiage here in German, which I cannot read. Uh, discover and create design journey, draw, write, paint, watercolor. And then it gives sort of a little swatch of what one of the pencils would look like in dry form. And then once you add water to it, it let you know that the product is made in Germany. And then there is, again, color swatching across the very bottom of the box for each pencil that's in the package. Other than that, you see you got Stetler's, Mars, GMBH, and Company, KG, um, and then it gives the location in Germany, the website, um, and I do believe this is the phone number for the company if you want to call customer service. The back of the box has um, sort of a step-by-step -step drawing of what's on the front here. It shows how they drew it out and penciled and then started to color and shade it in. And the information here is in different languages, pretty much saying the exact same thing i would assume so it says tinted watercolor pencils with a hint of graphite two completely different effects with one pencil when used dry it had soft and subtle natural colors with dark graphite character by adding water they awaken in a rich and living intensity um, while still staying muted soft and intense lead wood for from certified sustainable managed forests so that is what that says in all those different languages um, conforms to astm d4236 regulation made in germany and then it gives a skew so that's the packaging um straightforward nothing real fancy at all um, but i do believe the packaging is kept low on the lower end so that the product itself can be sold at a, a lower cost, which is pretty good if you ask me. So let's take a look at the pencils themselves here. So you're gonna get 12 tinted watercolor pencils. They have a 
as you can see here, a standard gray barrel um, with silver writing on it, which says made in Germany, Stettler, tenant, and then it gives a little logo of um, a brush so you'll know that it is a watercolor pencil. Um, the back of it here just has the SKU number, which I'm assuming is probably for open stock sale, if you can find them open stock. I'm not exactly sure of that. Then it gives some other um, identification information on the pencil. I'm assuming for in-house use with Stettler. Now, the wood itself does not have a smell to it. And the barrels are circular, or well, should I say, not circular, but more of an octagon shape so that they don't roll away from you while you're trying to use them. They are really comfortable to hold and I feel like the pencil itself is pretty balanced. Um, of course, that's just my opinion from using pencil products. Now, there is not much color swatching on the pencil. Um, it is domed with a colored cap in here, which is a swatch supposed to emulate the color of the lid. Now, I don't find them to be necessarily entirely accurate myself but i do believe if you look at the lid you can pretty much tell what color it is um the end of the pencil being domed does make it hard to kind of see if the lid itself is centered however i will say i did not have any issues with sharpening uh the pencils and the uh sharpening the sharpened lid excuse me stand pretty even as the pencils got sharpened. Although I will tell you, I do tend to sharpen my pencils with a knife to try to preserve as much of the lid as I can, um, just to not waste product. Now there is no light fast information on the pencil. You don't standardly see pigment information with pencils, but definitely light fast when they're of a more professional quality. Now these pencils did not have any light fast information on the pencil, on the packaging, and I did take a look around the website and I didn't see light fast ratings. Now they do say that the pencils are light fast. And of course, Stettler is a pretty reputable company. So I would like to take their word for it. But whenever any company, regardless of what their name is, offers um, the opinion that their product is light fast without any actual light fast ratings um, for me to compare, I do always take that with a grain of salt and absolutely no disrespect to the company intended at all. Um, let's see, anything else about the barrel of the pencil itself? Now, the pencils do not have color names on them either, so I created my own numbering sense, uh, system and just kind of wrote the numbers really small inside the SKU. That way I would have something to reference them against whenever I uh, got around to swatching the pencils out. Yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, oh, well, I will go ahead and say that, I'm sorry, the lid itself is semi-hard. Um, it's not very scratchy. It does have a pretty high color payoff when you use the lid. Um, so for all intents and purposes, I think it's a pretty well-balanced product from, you know, the comfort of it all the way to the color payoff on the lid itself. And they do remain pretty sharp. I will say that they pay off color, but they don't dull down. Um, and that's, you know, relatively due to the semi-hard lid that they do have. So that's pretty much the pencil itself straightforward. Let's look at some swatching that I did. So the first thing that first thing I did was I swatched the pencils out and I labeled them according to the number system I was telling you guys about. So this is a cellulose 140 pound paper that I swatched them out on. And uh, I believe that the colors are pretty, pretty and muted because they are tinted. So they have that graphite effect to them. Um, so, but uh, they create sort of a moody atmosphere when you use them, but I think it's really pretty. The colors are nice and saturated. Um, it looks as if though like black pigment has been mixed into each one of the lids in order to um, give it a more dull effect. Um, the colors are pretty transparent um, and they won't show up on black paper. I'll show you guys here the little uh, opacity test that I did for each one of the colors. Um, if you pay attention to the black line, you cannot see any of the color itself on the black line, there is a little residue on some of them left based solely on the effect of whatever they use to bind. 
um, the pigment in the pencil itself, but no color. So I don't think that these would be um, good use on black paper if you wanted to say so. And so I did the opacity test, the color mixing, and the original demo painting on a different brand of 140 pound cellulose paper. So again, in both these particular aspects, I've only used um, uh, synthetic fiber papers. So the next thing I decided to do was a color mixing test here. And I'll go ahead and tell you, this 12 count set does not really have primary colors in my opinion. So I kind of had to pull from the color selection that they had in order to um, get colors that would be closest or the closest to primaries as I could. So I pulled sort of the brick red, um, the only blue that was in the set and then for the more yellow tone, this sort of springish green color. Now, again, it's muted, but it was, in my opinion, the tone in the range that had the most yellow in it. So that's what I use sort of as the primaries um, to mix what would be the secondaries that you could mix from those particular colors. And then all three of them together in order to make a gray black tone. I mean, I don't think that they're gonna, if you have the idea of standard color mixing in your head, you need to get it out, especially dealing with these pencils. I don't think they lend to standard color mixing, but the colors will lend or blend together, should I say, to make other tones that are not in the 12 count set that are really pretty. And I think they make really pretty filler colors. Um, there are definitely more earth tones than brights. Um, these colors lend more so to landscape painting, in my opinion, um, especially to enhance. Um, they would pair wonderful with a regular set of watercolor pencil or maybe like even ink tint, ink tints pencils. I think they pair um, really well with that. Now, I did tell you guys about the numbering system because there is no uh, name on the barrels, but you can create whatever system is most comfortable for you in order to... Um, be able to identify the pencils as you use them. So taking a look at the very first sample painting that I did, and this review isn't gonna be long. I just wanted to kind of share what I've, the information I found out in the, from the usage. So the very first painting I did was this sort of really quick demo on a um, landscape, which I didn't shoot a video for it. It was just my first run of the meal. Oh, I wanna play with the pencils and see how they come out. Now, again, I think the colors are beautiful in a landscape setting. Um, because they're muted, they create uh, this atmosphere that's, that's kind of dark and kind of draws you in, which in my opinion is perfect for sunset paintings, especially if you're talking about when the sun is going down. So here I use shades of the blue, the brick red, sort of the primaries or the quote unquote primaries that I tried to pull. Um, I used a, a, a gray color, which is more like a stone instead of trying to mix my own. I took that gray color and the mixture of the blue that I used in the sky in order to create the color for the tree. And then the green was the um, closest to yellow tone that I pulled out. It sort of puts me in the mind of a sap green. I think it's really pretty. I really honestly love uh, the brighter green in this set and the uh, darker value green is more of a really earthy tone green, more of a sort of evergreen color. I thought it was really pretty. For overall, the colors themselves are very pretty. And once you add water to it, they are just, they, they come to life. Um, the pigment disperses really easily in water. You do not have to scrub, although I do always suggest you to use a synthetic brush whenever you're using watercolor pencils. So the next demo that I did or the next painting that I did was more of the opposite of the sunset. It was more of a daytime painting, sort of using some of the same techniques with the pencils. Um, this one is a demo that is up on the channel. If you guys would like to go ahead and check it out, please feel free. We'd love to know what you think about it. So here I just changed the mood, trying to keep the colors lighter giving more of a daytime effect and more of a daytime feel. Um, I think it was pretty successful overall. Again, love the way the green lended to doing the foliage. The pencils, 
don't and, and this is a cellulose paper as well this is the same cellulose paper that the swatching was done on so the colors hold up really well to a wood pulp type paper um, i'm sure they will perform really beautifully on a um 100 cotton paper spoiler alert i did not use them on 100 percent cotton the next um thing that i used them on was actually this painting of um a Zodiac play on the Leo, uh, which is also a demo up on the channel if you guys would like to see it. And here I was just kind of playing around with the pencils as far as creating depth, uh, making the background recede and the for, for, uh, foreground protrude and come towards you. Um, using uh, darker tones mixed with other pencils. Excuse me, because here I did use a Durant, um ink tense black pencil in order to mix in with the more purple i do believe it was a more purple it may have actually been that brick tone that i used originally but here again just playing around i love the skies and the water and reflections that i'm able to create from these pencils um definitely much more controllable than using a paint and brush in my opinion in most cases not always necessarily true. And lastly, I also use them in a mixed media form in conjunction with some paint. And I want to say this is Camel Professional Paint. I could be wrong. I think it is. Um, but this is Jane Davenport Mixed Media Journal. So here I actually use the pencils on mixed media paper instead of a cellulose watercolor paper which I should have done 100% cotton, guys. I, I apologize that I didn't. But I was still able to get a feel for the pencils on a different variety of papers. Um, and they did well. They performed well. I really like the way that they laid down on a tooth of the mixed media paper. I really like the way that I was able to blend them in with the brighter tones of the paint and still be able to get definition with the pencils and you still be able to see those muted colors. Um... And, and, and for them to definitely serve their purpose. I had fun with this one. Um, I may do a few more paintings like that. This this particular one kind of pulled me out of my comfort zone because I don't normally do like buildings and things like that. So those are things that I want to concentrate on doing a little bit more. So there is kind of my findings, uh, uh, real straightforward, really quickly, um, as far as reviewing this concern. Recommendations. I personally like the pencils. I would personally recommend the pencils for artists of all levels. Um, if you're a beginner um, and you're not used to using watercolor pencils, maybe a standard set of watercolor pencils in conjunction with these would probably be a good idea just so you can get those brighter tones um, that you would need to pull off a composition, um, especially when you're talking about daytime. Um, and if you do anything like florals botanicals um so you would definitely want some brighter tones for that uh experienced artists would find these as great accent colors i do believe um, they would be great for creating those darker values and deeper tones in your compositions um for pulling off techniques of distance and um shadow colors especially on things like mountains again i think really wonderful for landscapes um comfortable to hold. I don't think anyone would have any problems with their hands or um, like arthritis using these pencils. The lids are not extremely, extremely hard, although they do carry just a little bit of firmness to them. And I think that really helps well with sharpening and holding a point, lending to doing um, great detail work with the pencils because although they are a watercolor pencil as i tell you guys all the time you can use those pencils in dry form and just a color pencil method in order to enhance your paintings so i would definitely recommend the pencils especially at the price point now if i'm not mistaken i found these pencils on amazon that's somewhere between 12 and 15 bucks um, which will vary depending on when you order. I did not take a look at them right at this point, but I am going to put a link in the video description. Um, so just in case anything you heard in this video piqued your interest, and these are something that you want to use, especially if you're trying to find an alternative to doing ink tank 
uh, Derwent Graphitant pencil, excuse me. Um, spoiler alert, the link that I do put in the video description is an affiliate link. Uh, I am trying to earn just a little bit of commission on some of the videos that I do in order to continue to order these art products. That way I don't have to charge for any of the content that I post. So that's completely on you if you decide to use that affiliate link or not. If not, please don't let that deter you in any shape, form or fashion for from watching the videos or enjoying the content. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is the Stettler 12 count of uh, tinted watercolor pencils. I think it's a pretty reputable company. I don't think it gets enough play here in the United States because it is a European company and they do produce really great products. I believe this is one of them and it is definitely one that I recommend. So if you liked or heard anything that you saw in this video that's going to lend to your art journey, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, remembering that that helps out the algorithm. Go ahead and share. Remember that sharing is caring. Maybe someone you know uh, could benefit from the information in this content. Don't forget to uh, comment. Love to hear what you guys think. Have you used them? Have you used the Graphitent pencils by, by Derwent? Help me with the comparison because I've never used Graphitent. I want to know. But to me, from what I've seen just watching uh, videos on those other pencils, these seem to be a really good stand-in. So let me know what you think. Check us out on the Thrifty Apprentice Facebook page as well as Instagram. Remember, you can follow and like us there. And on the Facebook page, you can share your work. I am still encouraging you guys. Go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at it. Let me see. Hey, you guys might teach me something. I may be able to grow from it. I would love to do that. Um, am I forgetting anything? Nope, I'm not. So I'll tell you as I tell you at the end of every single video, just keep painting.